Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to test out awful guitar products that maybe, probably shouldn't exist. I spent all of my money on this so you guys don't have to. I'm gonna be the guinea pig here and you guys can take the $100 that you would have spent on this and go buy a Mr. Worldwide cardboard cutout. Before we dive in to these wonderful products, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because if you don't, this video might just be deleted. And if you would like to check out the Spire Gold Star Premium Trash Shirt, I will put the link in the description. All right, it's time for me to grab my guitar that I have not grabbed in probably seven months. Holy heck! What do we want to do first? This one looks intriguing. I can already tell this packaging is going to be a pain in the butt. Actually, maybe it's not so difficult. So this is guitar finger expansion. Basically what you do is you put your fingers through the holes. It's supposed to train your fingers to stretch out so you can fret better on the guitar, I guess. It's kind of weird. I have tiny fingers and they're kind of getting stuck. We are gonna take this baby as far to the edge as possible because I want my fingers to have to stretch. I want them to get the workout of their life. Oh my word. It is very very adjustable, I will say that. Since I would be fretting with my left hand, we're gonna try this. Put my pinky down here. Then are you supposed to just leave your hand like that? Rose, I don't like the way my hand looks with this on. It looks like your hand whenever you're trying to cut a lemon and it's all dismangled. So pretend you're playing the guitar and this is how far your fingers have to reach. Instead of training your fingers while you're playing, you can just use this. Look, I can reach across like five whole frets. I would never be able to do that without guitar finger expansion. Let's try it with my right hand. Maybe my right hand is less flexible. Dang. Rose! Yeah, not really sure how I feel about this one. I don't think it's necessary, but then again, maybe if you did use it on a daily basis, just walk around all day with this on, it might stretch out your fingers or it might permanently injure them. Out of 10, I would probably rate this a zero, but if for some reason you still have a strange urge to just go purchase it for yourself, I will put the link in the description. I will put the link to all of these products in the description because maybe you do want this in your life. I also got another one like it, but it's the more budget version. This one actually hurts more because it has sharper edges. This would be a negative five out of 10. That actually hurts really bad. I just don't see the use for this. What's next? Wait, why'd they send me another one? <laughs> this next product is silicone finger caps that you put on the tips of your finger to work like little mittens that protect your fingers whenever you're pressing down on the strings so it doesn't hurt as much and you don't build your calluses, which is kind of the point of playing guitar. At some point, you're gonna have to build your calluses, but let's try these out. They make everything so difficult to open, I promise you. Oh, they also sent picks, which I don't think they advertise that in the product description, but sure, whatever. What the heck? They sent enough finger mittens for probably 30 fingers. Oh, it's because some of them are bigger. So they have ones for tiny fingers and one for not tiny fingers. I guess that makes sense. So you can have ones that fit your pinky and then your bigger fingers. This is what they look like. They kind of look stupid when you're wearing them, not gonna lie. I feel like if I walked up to a group of guitar players and they saw me wearing this, they would most likely probably beat me up. But I'm not gonna knock them until I've tried them, so let's put it to the test. No, no! Bar chord. They're even worse than I thought they were gonna be. Okay, I get the idea of not wanting to hurt your fingers as much. So you think, oh, if I put these little caps on, it'll help me ease into playing the guitar so I don't destroy my fingers right away and have all that pain. But what they don't tell you is that it makes playing the strings so much more difficult because these things are pretty meaty and chunky. So when you put them on your finger, it just feels not very precise when you're trying to press down on the strings. It just feels 
very crowded. I don't think there's an easy way out when it comes to this. You just have to start learning the guitar without these and go through the pain that comes with building the calluses. On the bright side, they would keep your fingers very warm. Oh my word, I'm literally rating these a negative 10 out of 10. Oh gross, my fingers are sweaty now. Interesting smell. Oh, Rocky Heights. We have this. I'll explain what this is. I'm not even sure how this is gonna work. It kind of looks like a piece of garbage, but it might be good. Why are these instructions so long? The name is Easy Fret. And we have instructions this long. You will need a small Phillips screwdriver to, I need a screwdriver? I thought it says easy installation. Also, why is there, there's a poop stain. That's a little bit sus. I think you're supposed to do the rubber bands around this like so. They were so generous to give us multiple rubber bands. Thank you, Easy Fret, for making my life so much easier. Oh, she's sliding. She's slipping and she's sliding. Here we go. This does not look secure at all. I am very concerned. So the idea of this is to also make the fretting process easier and not get calluses. I don't know why there's all these products that think you can just avoid the pain. The pain is an inevitable when it comes to learning guitar. You have to embrace it. That's supposed to be a C chord. It might be faulty installation on my part, I will admit that, but also why would installation be this difficult? There we go, that's not horrible. But then how do I do this? I'll be responsible. I'll take some of the blame for this because I don't know how to put it on correctly. I just don't see how forming chords on this could possibly help anyone. I don't see it. Plus it's one of those things where if another guitar player sees this on your guitar, how are you gonna explain that? I don't even know what to rate this. <laughs> This is the one that I am so excited for. I genuinely think that this might be a good product. It is LED guitar picks. They light up. You can have a rave while you're playing guitar. What more could you want? It also comes in a very nice pouch to store them in. It's looking good so far. They come in different colors. We have blue, we have purple, or is that? No, that's white. We have purple. Oh my gosh, that's my fave. And I think this one is green. It is in fact. These are fun. I do like this idea. It is a little bit chunky. It's a big chungus, but I'm hopeful about this. For these LED picks, I don't necessarily love the way that it feels when you play it and the way that it sounds, but I will say it's kind of sick that they light up. I think it's probably more of a novelty gimmick type thing and it's not meant to sound good and be your everyday pick. It is a fun little thing to show your friends though and they can be jealous that you have light up picks. What if I try to play all of them at the same time? Never before seen. <gasps> That's all that came from Amazon. Now we're moving on to a product that I got from Guitar Center. Y'all, this will be the best one yet. And let me tell you why. It's not the actual product itself that makes it awful. It's the name of the product. They're stickers that you put on the fretboard so you can know what note you're playing. Y'all, they decided to call these stickers Fret Daddy. That is the name, Fret Daddy. I am not kidding. This is not a joke. This is 100% real. Let me tell you though, they are a caring and thoughtful company because they even send a Fret Daddy sticker. You can't just get this anywhere, only from Fret Daddy. It doesn't feel right saying that. They should make it illegal for companies to use the word daddy in their name. With that being said, I have my new name tag. Okay, enough with the jokes. I'm gonna try these out for real. It comes with a Fret Daddy pick too. They label each fret that you're supposed to put each sticker on. So they do it in one strip for each fret, which is nice because you don't have to pick off each note individually, which would be a pain in the butt. Wait, is this gonna make my fretboard sticky though? I don't know if I like this. Oh no, it's sticking. In general, I don't like the idea of putting anything sticky on my guitar, but we're doing it for this video. Fret 
fret number two from Fret Daddy. Oh man, she's very sticky. But then if you're playing guitar and you're trying to learn these notes, you have to read them sideways because the way you look down at them, and to be honest, you can't really see them all that much because your guitar should be sitting like this. It's a fun idea and I get how it could be helpful, but with the logistics of it, it doesn't 100% work. Not to mention, if you use these, you risk getting Fret Daddy sticky residue on your guitar fretboard. I'll give this a 7 out of 10. I think it could be good use for demonstration, but not as a thing that you're gonna want to use all the time. Maybe for like the first few weeks of guitar lessons, you put these on to learn the notes. It could also be a fun thing to see all the pretty little notes. Oh, I forgot. I do have one more product. It's the Big Fatty guitar pick. That's right, you thought the last name was bad? We got the big old fatty dump truck juicy guitar pick in our hands. I don't know if you can read it, but it does in fact 100% say big fatty on it. It's a hefty pick and the point of it is that it won't slip out of your fingers because it's supposed to kind of suction onto it, I think. It doesn't sound awful. I would prefer the feel of a regular pick compared to this one. However, the name does have something special going on. I feel like I emotionally connect to it. So ladies and gents, if you do wanna try out this pick, I think it's all right. I think it's decent. Those are all the wonderful guitar products that I wanted to show you guys today. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed it and that it tickled you pink and that it made you wanna hit that thumbs up, yeah. Thank you so much for being here and allowing me to speak for a few minutes. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I love y'all. Bye.